Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Ordoñez. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Today we will see a tutorial of the portal. We will learn how to determine the firmware version of a PLC. To start, I will open the portal. This sequence of video or playlists, as you want to call them, it's gonna have the purpose to teach you how to use Tia Portal at least in a basic way. This is gonna be the first video. And to be clear, I have connected to my PC a PLC 1212 AC DC Relay, uh, a real one. So Right now, as the topic says, I'm gonna try to read the configuration of the firmware of this PLC. Okay, so we have already opened the, the TIA portal. We are now in the portal view. We can change to the uh, project view if we want but right now like there's almost no need so if you want to check for the firmware version you need to go here in the second column you go to sorry in the first one you go to the portal online and diagnostic once you change to online and diagnostic you have in your second column the option of accessible devices you go click here on accessible devices and okay we have to wait some time but it's normal then you have this window that have pop, has popped up in which it says uh, the type of PG PC interface which is profinet in our case and you we have to select the PGPC interface which is the network adapter that you have so as this is a virtual machine I have selected I have attached this one to the network adapter of my real PC so I click on start search and it will begin to scan all the possible devices that my computer can find on this net as you can read here it has already found an accessible device which names is PLC1 so in a few moments it will appear here here so here it is your the PLC that we have it has an address of one one hundred ninety two one hundred sixty eight zero one and we can also make the fl the the LEDs that they have to start flashing this helps in case you have like a huge amount of devices and you don't know which one you are point probably you have four or five PLCs in the same network but if you start with this uh, flashing LED you will be able to see a physical behavior which tells you which PLC it is now I have clicked and you can see that it is flashing right so with this you can determine which is your PLC I will stop the flashing you can see it stops here and nothing else okay this is just to be able to see which is your PLC now if you click on show it will show you some of the properties that this PLC has 
now it automatically has changed to the project view in which I can go here to online and diagnostic and double click it see that we are in the online access folder inside the online access folder we are in the folder that corresponds to my network adapter and I click here on online and diagnostics in the PLC folder and the data is displayed here so you can check in the first ones that says the firmware version it's 4.20 and the version of the TIA portal project is 15.1 this means that the project that is inside the PLC it's version 15.1 and basically here you can know exactly which PLC it is so let's remember first one the first thing that we have to do is to open to your portal after that in the portal view you go to online and diagnostics and clicks on accessible devices this starts to scan the whole network and after that you select the PLC that you want and click on show after you click on show you go here to the, in the project view to the folder of the PLC inside the network adapter in the online access folder and double click on online and diagnostics and here you have access to all the data of the PLC I hope you enjoyed the video, but mostly that it has been useful for you. Please don't forget to share, subscribe and like the video. If you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section down below. For today it has been all. Bye bye.